Hi, good morning and welcome back to another live session. It's 11 a.m. right now. We are based in Ontario in Brampton. Welcome back to all our viewers. My name is Vishal Manocha, owner and director at Net Worth Immigration Solution. This is our Facebook live session, which we have every Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And in India back home, it's 8.30 p.m. Welcome back to all of you. This is the time for you to get all the updates from the last one week regarding Canadian immigration and also a time for you to ask any question you have. If you have any question, kindly post it into the comment section while we are having this live telecast and then definitely I'll be very very happy to answer those questions for you. If you have any concern, again post it into the comment section. We will be addressing your questions you have regarding any immigration topic you want to discuss. This is a year around 25 to 30 minute session we have it every Friday. The whole idea is to yes, give you all the update from the last one week and give you time to ask your questions. So we will be discussing a lot about today two express entry draw out of which one of them was the first ever draw held through express entry. We will be talking a lot more about detail in that. Also about the express entry draw which was held after a month or so, but the CR score was very, very high as expected, as I discussed in the last live session, that if there are a couple of, not if, the rest of the couple of draws which are left for express entry will have high score, the score was high, we will be talking about that too, and it will be great for you to, from you to, to understand why the score is high and what you can expect from the next express entry draw, which may be coming up not very soon, I think so, maybe sometime in October. On November because we are getting very close to this end of this year and definitely the limits have already been done so you're only expecting one or maximum two express entry all category draw for the rest of 2023 and about 2024 yes the announcement is still to be made are there any changes to the immigration plan we will be talking about that too and also parents and grandparents program which is going to open up on 10th of October we will be talking about that too in detail Again, as I said to you, don't hesitate to ask your question, put them into the comment section and I'll be happy to answer your question while we have this live session. So the first update of this week is the latest express entry draw, which was recently held this week. The number of invitations sent were 3200 and the CRS score was 531. Yes, it's 531 was the CRS score for this express entry draw. And as I discussed in my previous Friday live session, that whenever the next draw comes up, it will be definitely above 500. It will be 531. Was well, yes, it was again expected. The only reason is just I'm going to give you the details again about what we discussed in the previous show, so that you will be able to relate that why the score was 531. So the quota for this year for express entry draw was 82,000 approximately. Out of that. 77,000 invitations have already been sent by 15th of August. So for the rest of four or five months, only around 5,000 plus invitations are supposed to be sent until and unless there is an announcement or the category gets some more occupation, oh sorry, more invitation to be applied. Only 5,000 were the invitation left for this year. So now out of the 5,000, definitely they're gonna pick who are at the highest. If you look at the express entry pool, they have around six to 7,000 people which are scoring more than 500. So now if they have to only uh, take out a draw with only 5,000 approximately application left to be invited, then you can imagine that definitely the score will be above 500. No doubt about it. Even the next draw you're expecting, if it definitely there'll be at least one more draw coming up to complete the quota. Maybe they exceed a bit with the law or we may as I said to you, if they don't add a further quota, definitely the next draw might be the last express entry all category draw for 2023. Until unless, as I said, they add more numbers to the quota for express entry. You can expect only one more draw or two more draw maximum coming up for the express entry for 2023. And yet again, those draw will be above 500 because the number they have already achieved for this year they were very aggressive in the beginning of this, this year getting the draw so they have already uh, the IRCC have already got close to the number of limitation they have for 2023 so don't be very hopeful if you are at 450 460 470 definitely doesn't seem to be very much possible until and unless your occupation is in high demand 
there may be more category specific draws coming up for 2023 we will be in the next news we'll be discussing today will be one of the kind draw which was held this week for the first time we will be coming on to that but before that other than if we don't see any explicit draw there may be category specific draw which started this year only in 2023 you might see those draws coming up for the next uh, a few of the months like we are almost at the last quarter of 2023 to November December to go they are almost got around 80,000 invitation sent so as I said only approximately approximately around 2,500 invitation are supposed to be still sent for express entry but the draw will be the score will be more than 500 again I am pretty sure it will be more than 500 as we even discussed in the previous show and it's a simple math so there's no too much calculations or too much confusion where it should, it should be. It's clear math that yes, they are close to the number they want to achieve for 2023 through express entry and they are almost very, very close to that. So even if you're waiting for the next draw, yes, definitely it is going to come sometime in the rest of the year, but it is not going to be less than 500 for sure until unless there is some substantial changes been done. Now, talking about the next draw, what the first ever kind draw have, which has been held in 2023 after the announcement of category specific draw, that was the transport related draw which was held uh, into, for, as I said, is the first draw which was held uh, for 2023. So that was the first draw, as I said. So we will be, uh, to give you an update, there were 10 occupations which were invited under this draw. This was linked to express entry and uh, the number of invitations sent were like 1000, only 1000 invitations were sent and the CRS code to which the people were invited was at least 435. Yes, 435 uh, was the score which was uh, required to get the invitation in this draw and as I said 10 NOC knocks were picked, all were transport related knocks. Yes, Canada does have a shortage of they have still shortage of almost everything about health, about trade, about the uh, skills we are talking about trucking. So this was the draw which was good news for truck drivers. Definitely it was a very good news that they were invited. But just to let you know which all occupations were invited in this draw, uh, the list, I have the list with me. So the NOC 10, NOC NOC which were invited under this draw was aircraft assemblers and aircraft assembly inspectors were invited, transport truck drivers which include Drum truck drivers, heavy truck drivers, lo long haul truck drivers, they all were invited under this draw. Then railway traffic controllers and marine traffic regulation is another NOC now. Engineers officers and water transport were invited. Tech officers, water transport were invited. And then air traffic controllers and related occupations were also invited under this draw. Air pilots, flight engineers and flying inspectors were the other one who were invited. And then we had aircraft mechanics and aircraft inspectors who were invited. Railway chairmen and women were invited under the And lastly, managers in transportation, where you have uh, positions like distribution manager, logistics, flight operation manager. These were the people who got an invite. So there were 10 NOC now under which the invitation was sent. This was the first ever transport category draw, which was held. 10 occupations were invited. CRS was 435 and number of invitations sent was 1000. The good news was yes, the truck drivers, the long haul truck drivers was invited under this draw, which is a good news for them because unfortunately they are not a part of the Ontario skill trade program. They are not been included in that. Even if they are included, but the draws are not been held for that. But this category will give them a chance to apply for PR. So now if Definitely, first of all, congratulations to those thousands of uh, people who have got the invitation. Now they have to submit their ONP file. Once they get the ONP approval, then they will go ahead and submit their PR application. And once the PR application, they will, sorry, once the ONP is approved, they, sorry, the PNP is approved, they'll get your, uh, so this express entry, sorry, there will be no PNP in this category. Under this category, now you directly go and apply through an express, because it's an express entry draw, so it's a, not a PNP draw, sorry, it's so basically, uh, you will be just submitting your express entry profile like, file within the next 60 days. In the next 60 days, you have to submit the file and then the application will be processed as the other normal express entry application are processed. So this is the first of its kind, first draw in 2023. Hopefully, we will see more draws of this category coming up in the near future and more truck drivers who have been waiting for very long 
will be getting an invitation but you have to still keep in mind even to score 435 is going to be challenged it's not going to be even if you take this uh, score as a benchmark for the future score future score may be higher may be lower but even if you keep 435 as a benchmark it's not easy to score for 435 without having good ILTS score good academic profile you will not be able to score above 400 so you have to make sure especially if you are grade 12 pass out back home and if you have the experience even scoring 435 is going to be challenging so yes it was an opportunity for the truck drivers to submit to get the invitation and to apply through PR PR through the express entry now but as I said it is not going to be easy even to score 435 until unless you are having a good ILTS score especially if you're grade 12 if you're a graduate back home then you still have chances with even scoring seven band overall you may be depending on other factors also but you may be scoring about 400 of that so this is the draw to look forward to for in the near future let's see if we have more draws of these coming up in the near future or not but this was the first category specific draw held uh, for 2023 under this category thousand students were invited and as i said the thousands we have not student thousand candidates were invited with crs 435 and this draw was also held this week so there were two express entry draw this week one was the all category draw which we recently discussed express entry 531 number of invitations sent 3200 in that one and th the other one with the transport one was uh, transport related draw which was which has got an invitation of around 1000 invitations and 435 was the CR score and first category draw CEC no draw yet complete 2000 and I am very very doubtful that there will be any draw coming up for CEC for the rest of this year too I am not pretty sure why Canadian government has forgot about the international students who have been working very hard who have spent two years who have done their education who have done maybe they have got a couple of years experience also but they are not the one who is going to score more than 500 for sure getting about 500 you need to be masters you have good experience good uh, academic uh, record good ILTS score then only you can qualify above 500 so CEC is not happening that is disappointing for all the international students which is not for the even for the future students who want to come to Canada yes you will have to select your provinces you have to select your options there are still a lot of other ways through which you get get your PR but you have to select your province your option very very carefully when you're planning to come to Canada even for your study so we'll take a question we have Lakshay the first guy is asking us a question let me ask answer Lakshay question and meanwhile uh, guys I can see a lot of viewers who have joined us today again kindly post your question into the comment section ask us the question you have and we will be very very happy to answer that for you so uh, the question from Akshay is hello I am a Filipino who married Canadian citizen in Quebec I would like to ask if I can still apply spouse sponsorship even if my husband has assault record but is not convicted just under provision is there any immigration consultant or lawyer that you can recommend us to help us with this we would really appreciate your help thank uh, you so much and stay safe okay so Lakshya basically uh, just, just want to go over your question again you like to ask wow sponsor even if your husband has an assault record see basically yes that could create a problem uh, if it was not convicted and you have a document from the court that everything is fine and good to go it should not be a problem because if you have a it has we have to just make sure the first of all definitely the person who is sponsoring should not be into that uh, situation and the person who is sponsored also need to be make sure that they are the one who are not uh, not they should also have their proper documentation and then only you should apply for your spousal application but if you are talking about an immigration lawyer concerned then yes there are a lot of lawyers and consultants who can help you. We can help you in this regard. You can approach us and we will be very, very happy to assist and give you further advice on this situation. The next question we have from Rakesh. A lot of tensions are going on between India and Canada. What is the future for student visa? Rakesh, uh, I know uh, I don't want to touch base on this ground today on this session, but if you have asked us the question, I know there's a lot of tension going on between India and Canada. The, even the, Indian, the Canadians visas have been suspended for the time being so that no Canadian citizen can visit India uh, as of now I know it is very very disappointing and not a good situation we all are in but hopefully we are out of the situation as soon as possible the tensions between the countries definitely that need to be worked out and uh, at the diplomatic level 
ask answering your question about future in student canada i think canada is still going to welcome international students because there is a lot of uh, they get a lot of benefit out of international students, not just the money they get in the economy, money, uh, growth with the international They also get temporary foreign worker who can work and uh, fill their skill shortage. You have to be right now, yes, the two situations are not as much tense in the, uh, we are, like we are living in Canada, we know there's no, on a daily basis, it has still not yet impacted our life. Hopefully that doesn't even happen in the future. We all are safe here, we all are good, it's still a good uh, country to come. But you need to keep some precautions. Go and go out of your houses if it's not required, especially if you are into uh, areas which may be impacted because of all the situation we have. But overall, if you talk about like we are in Brampton, by God's grace, everything is good, everything is fine, and everything seems to be normal for international students also. Yes, you have to make sure that you are keeping yourself safe, not getting into any unnecessary hassle or getting involvement into any of your. Uh, if you're coming here for studies, just concentrate on your studies. Don't participate in any of the rallies or anything happening against or favor of whatever you are in favor or against of. Just avoid that. As far as you're keeping that, you should be fine. Everything, every day activity is still going normal in Canada and we all are good here and safe. And hopefully that continues. And this tension will ease, hopefully should ease up very soon because it is not good for both the country's relationship and also for students and nationals who are residing in Canada. Hopefully we come out of the situation soon. So what documents do we need for flag putting closed work permit? Bipin, when we talk about flag polling, basically I know if you are in Canada, maybe you are a visitor visa and you want to get your work permit done or onto other situation, but you want to go to the CBSA border uh, to get the work permit. Or when you talk about documents, Technically, you should have all the document if you have, say, example, if you have to submit the same file uh, to the Canadian High Commission, not exactly the same document if you do it online. When you go to the flag polling, what they usually see is your background, that your experience, ha do you have the relevant experience regarding your education, you are, sorry, the job you have been offered, do you have re relevant education regarding to that. These are the more key factors what officer looks at. They don't ask for too much of financials document and all of the stuff. They can ask, but I have, I have done, I have been to border for a few of the flag polling, but I haven't seen any financial document usually been asked. What their major concern and most important concern is, how did you find this job? How did the employer hire you? How did you came to know about the job? So you should have that information and also you should carry all your previous education and experience document, which should, if the officer asks so that they need to be justified that yes, you are the right candidate for the job, then only the visa will be granted. I hope that clears your point uh, to an extent. Then Amit said, sir, I have to come to Canada. I have heard that the conditions there are not good. So should I come to Canada now or not? I want him want him to come to meet my daughter. Amita, I know there's a lot of concern with the parents. We, uh, we are getting calls also. Even our clients are very much concerned what is going to happen with the process of the application. Are there going to be delays in the application process? As of now, we don't know. There will be delays or not, but yes, uh, we are uh, hearing a lot of concern from the parents. <clears throat> You're more than welcome to come to Canada. It's still very safe. As I said, you just a uh, couple of minutes ago, we are still very safe here. We have not seen any activity. As of now, there's no activity which will make you feel scared or un insecure. And maybe in few of the region, again, we haven't seen too much in the media or coming up or even around us in a daily life. We are living our daily life. We are doing normal grocery, normal day-to-day -day work, coming to office, going back. We haven't seen any trouble as of now. It seems to be safe. I hope it remains the same and there is no future uh, tensions coming up uh, into the situation. I know as both of the countries are not into the good situation as of now. Not a good time uh, for both the citizens. Uh, definitely the people who are citizens from, like we, I'm a Canadian citizen here. So definitely it's, it is concerning for us that we, have, we haven't got visas, we are not able to travel. I hope that situation resolves up very soon because it is disturbing to be in that situation. But on to daily daily life, as of now, Amita, there are no concerns we have seen in the last four or five days. And as I said, hopefully the thing stays normal in the near future too. And if you want to come and meet your daughter, definitely you should come. And she should be she will be in fact more more than happy to welcome you right now. Even if she's concerned, she'll feel more happy about you being around uh, her at this time. But as of now, just to give all the parents. Uh, whoever is listening to this session, if you are concerned about your son and daughter, 
right now, as I said, there doesn't seem to be too much of uh, situation, bad situation as of now, and hope it remains the same. We have another question, sir. Due to current situation, what will be the effect of all the visas applicants submitted from India? Is it going to be delayed? Be safe and take care. Thanks. Hey, well, basically, uh, if you say the application will be delayed, uh, we haven't seen though in the last one week because in, I have my office in India and we have been regularly getting our visas every day as of now. And it seems to be not possible. I think it's, I don't think Canada is going to stop Canada visas uh, or temporary foreign worker or students coming into Canada because I said there's a lot of, there will be huge impact if Canada decides to stop this uh, for the students or workers. I don't think so. That's that is coming up. It all depends on the how how the relation goes from here. Does the diplomatic how and it has to be handled at the diplomatic level, and they need to definitely come to a point where the situation has been eased. Right now, we are yes, with the um, things happening and news coming from India and Canada, they are disturbing. But as I said, we all are safe and good here. Thanks for uh, asking your question, joining to this session. But as I said, you we are still safe and sound, and everything seems to be normal here in the daily life as of now. And I hope that remains the same. I know there's a lot of concern from the parents, but uh, and your question is uh, even as I said, we have been getting a lot of calls. I didn't want to touch base on this topic today because this is definitely. I know if you look at the Indian news channel and media, that's what you can see. What you that's what they have. I was even listening to the Indian channel this morning, and the only topic they have is Indian India and Canada situation we are in. But as I said. Uh, uh, it doesn't seem to be as bad as in the Indian media right now, for sure. Yes, there are tensions around and there may be implications implication coming up. But as I said, as of now, it, it is not as bad as it's been presented by Indian media as of now. I hope that will be the same. If you have still have any further questions, definitely we can help you and assist you in all your immigration matter. Our office is based in Brampton, Ontario. We have location in India in Karnal in Haryana. We provide all immigration nation services and we definitely uh, try our best to provide our client with the best services. Again, if you have oh, there are more client, more viewers who want to ask their question, you can still go ahead and ask. We will be just wrapping up this session very soon now. Just before we do that, just to let you know, we will be having, uh, we have got seats, so we are just talking about international students. Yes, international students are still welcome and there was a previously there was an announcement made that may, may be a cap coming for international students. That is not happening because that was a premature statement being put forward. But right now, I think even the housing minister who announced about it, he is stepping back and he definitely said that they have not yet discussed this with the uh, institution partners. And I'm pretty sure institution partners are not going to welcome this thing because that is going to be a huge impact on the candidate education sector. So nothing, I think, seems to be coming up regarding even putting a cap to the international students. International students will still be welcome. All I think. Uh, what uh, IRCC will recommend or the Canadian government will recommend will, to the universities and colleges will be to at least provide have uh, assistance and services available to your clients, uh, students who are coming in and as far as they are taking care of it should not be a problem. I'll take a last question from Akash before we wrap up this session. I'm a mechanical engineer, graduate 2022, my GPA student, now I want to do a broad for master in engineering management, I want to apply on the basis of English proficiency letter. Which all expenses and tuition fee the manageable part time job. Okay. Akash, basically, uh, we practice uh, definitely we promote Canadian immigration, Canadian education because we are based in Canada. So, what I can tell you is your GPA seems to be a bit low for doing a master's degree or in engineering management in Canada. You may get you may struggle to get a good university and get a good admission, but if you work on your especially if your uh, you're even uh, English proficiency is low or if your IELTS is so. That will make the situation more complicated, but we can still you can still find an option for you. And as I said, it's a GPA is a bit low; it should be above three technically what we look at. But even this should be good, not good enough for very good universities. But yes, you may find one or the other university for the doing your master of management in Canada. So thank you everybody. Thank you, Akash, for asking this question for joining into the session. This is the uh, we will be just uh, we're coming to the end of the session. We have been doing, as we have already told you, we are into this industry from the last 20 years. We have been providing our services from the last 20 years. If you need any immigration or consulting help, do contact us and I'll be, we will be very, very happy to help you. And as we have already previously also mentioned, we have a very high success rate under all the visa category we do. 
So if you need any help, any services you need, contact Networth Immigration. Our office is based in Brampton, Ontario, and we have another location in Karnal in Haryana. So thank you all for joining in. I'll see you. We hope you have a stay safe. Definitely who are in Canada and who are tense, and I know the parents are tense, I'll advise you to be stay safe and stay. Don't go out if it's not necessarily required. But as of now, again, don't be scared. Everything is fine as of now. So thank you all for joining.